Hi, everybody, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're uh, looking forward to a really exciting discussion. Uh, as everybody's logging in and, and kind of getting comfortable with the GoToWebinar platform, feel free to test out the chat and uh, question functionality. It's on the right-hand side of your control panel. Either one of those options will, will work if you, you know, have questions or just want to say hi. Uh, we do recommend using the, the questions uh, functionality if you do have a specific question. That way we can make sure we get that answered for you and, and have that as part of the recording as well. We are really excited and happy to uh, partner with APS Payroll, and we have them here today with the presentation. Um, we're going to discuss streamlining communications in your hiring process. And we'll also explore how Verified First integration with APS Payroll's applicant tracking system called APS Hire can help you, uh, your organization streamline the communication throughout the recruitment and onboarding process. So before we dive in, just go over a few housekeeping items. Uh, this session is being recorded and we'll send out a copy of that recording after the webinar. We encourage you to share that recording with any of your team members or colleagues that you feel uh, might benefit from that as well. And then if you do have um, any questions, we will provide you some contact information on the last slide so you can reach out to Verified First or APS Payroll. And then just last reminder, use that question uh, panel and we will make sure that we, uh, we get those questions answered throughout the presentation as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, the agenda, what's on deck for today. Um, first, we wanna make the most of your job description. Then we'll talk about how you can communicate often and quickly with your applicants, what the pre-employment screening process um, can look like as far as streamlining your communication, how you can automate this whole process with, uh, with an integration, and then we'll go into a live demo. And so before we start uh, diving into all of that wonderful information, I want to do some quick introductions. My name is Stephanie Komnick. I'm the partner management team lead here at Verified First, and I manage the relationship between APS Payroll and Verified First. I'm also joined by Scott Lassane. He's the VP of Sales at APS Payroll. Scott, thank you so much for joining us today. Would you uh, like to share a little bit more about your role at APS? Absolutely. Thanks, Stephanie, for having me. So, of course, I'm the Vice President of Sales at APS, and I work with our different revenue teams to bring on uh, ideal clients in our target market that benefit from our services. And uh, genuinely, I'm a big fan of what Verified First does and offers to our clients, and I'm passionate about this conversation topic. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us again, Scott. You've been on uh, several webinars with us, so it's always a pleasure. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first up on streamlining communication is making the most of your job description, which seems pretty obvious, but job descriptions are often still viewed as more of a requirement instead of an opportunity to take advantage of the hiring process. Yeah, you're right, Stephanie. And we have to remember that a job description is the first touch an employee may have with you or your organization. So it's crucial that you make the most of it for the rest of the hiring process to flow effectively. Absolutely. Let's actually take a look at some of the uh, like best practices that, that we can do. Um, Scott, I think APS Payroll has some great insights when it comes to job descriptions. So would you mind sharing some of those? Absolutely. So think about what does a job seeker for your position want to know? First, does your job description paint a clear description of the role? Seems obvious, but um, it's one thing we always suggest. Does it provide details about the role as well as day-to-day -day tasks to ensure transparency? What are the requirements of the opportunity? What degrees, certifications, skills, and years of experience are ideal for you and for this position? Also, provide salary information. These days, some third-party job boards are providing salary estimates that may not be accurate for this job and for your geographic area. Your posted salary will override estimates and eliminate any, any wrong assumptions. Think about what makes you different and differentiates your job from your competitors. Include things like company culture, style and values, benefits information, and, and any other perks. Share what your company is like and how this job contributes to your company's goal 
and your company's mission. Include growth opportunities so that this job seeker knows what the path looks like for them. And use bullets as opposed to long paragraphs, which simply makes the job description easier to read. The job title is very important, so be clear, concise, and specific. Would a qualified candidate actually search the job title you're hiring for? Use proper keywords, specify career level, and don't include clickbait like bonus or dollar signs or exclamation marks or any other symbols. And finally, don't use acronyms or abbreviations. That was really helpful, Scott, and I appreciate you kind of breaking all of that down. Um, a few other call outs on this slide. So first, is your job description also accurate? Um, you can have an external resource review that job description and make sure it outlines the role effectively and just ultimately doesn't leave the, the applicant, um, you know, having more questions on what the actual job is itself. So um, after you have prepared like a well-defined job description, then you'll want to communicate as often and quickly as possible. Absolutely. This is crucial to getting the talent you want in an effective manner. And of course, communicating quickly plays a huge role in streamlining your hiring process. Absolutely agree, Scott. So let's ask the question, what does it look like to communicate often and quickly? And, you know, kind of even who does that include? Absolutely. It's a great concept, a great question. So communi communicate often and quickly, not only to your applicants, but to your internal hiring managers too. Some clients leave that latter part out and it creates confusion. And what you want is transparency. So email and text candidates throughout the recruiting process and let them know where they stand. Transparency is crucial. Transparency is key. It shouldn't be a surprise to anyone on the call today, but candidates will respond to texts 85 to 90% faster than email. Know that in our APS Hire platform, we include texting with our premium package. So what problems do we solve there? We solve simple communication issues with our basic functionality, which allows APS users, i.e. recruiters, hiring managers, to text a candidate or candidates in mass from an account text number. Uh, but we really help with communication through our autopilot functionality, which automates the initial communication via text after a qualified candidate hits your pipeline, and then allows candidates to choose an approved interview time directly from the text message. So you're automating communication and you're getting that message to the candidate very quickly via that high open rate of 85 90%. Next, the interview gets scheduled automatically using our calendar integration, and you can trigger texts as your candidates move through the stages of your recruitment workflow. Finally, I mentioned at the beginning of the slide that internal communication is also important. Consistently communicate with your hiring team. Over communication is better. Add notes, phone screen or interview feedback, and try to use a five star or rating visual when you're evaluating candidates. Yeah, and, and to add what Scott said, um, we found too that 84% of candidates expect a response early in the hiring process. So it's really crucial that you're engaging with them as quickly as possible um, before they honestly move on to another organization. And we all know that you guys are handling many candidates. So really taking advantage of your tech solution, especially if there is like a text messaging feature or some, some other easy and efficient way to communicate um, is really going to, to help that process as well. So uh, let's take a, a little moment here real quick to um, interact with you guys a bit. So we have this poll question that we're going to launch. Um, and the question is, what areas of technology are you looking to replace or, um, or maybe adopt if you don't have any already within the next three months? And you should be able to select all that apply. So we'll give everybody a little bit of time to think about that and submit their answer. <clears throat> Thanks everybody for, we have about half of you. Oh, it's going up and up. Scott, what do you think the top, top one's gonna be? Like a wild guess. I can see, so I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say 
data is king and let's see what the data says okay <laughs> it's a great way to be right <laughs> All right, we'll do just a few more seconds here. I think we have a majority of the responses. All right, let's go ahead and close it out and see what everybody said. There, it's, I'd say you were going to be right either way, Scott, with the exception of the no replacements, because it's pretty close for the other options. Um, so that, I mean, that's great. That sounds like you guys have maybe already thought through um your tech stack and you know if that involved integration or just how to be you know very efficient or use a platform that's going to work best for your process or maybe it's just not the right time to explore so um good news there for you guys but looks like as i said pretty even across the board i9 and e verify um did kind of beat out the rest um so thank you guys for your feedback we're always just curious to know what's top of mind for uh, the hr industry right now all right okay so let's you guys can still see my screen right i think it's still okay yeah. it does perfect okay so let's um move on to the pre-employment screening so that's kind of part, what part of the reason why we're having this presentation as well is because pre-employment screening does play a major role in the hiring process and it also plays an important role in the candidate's experience uh, and so we want to you know just kind of touch on how you can streamline communication um, in that process as well, because it's often the last step before you fully hire that individual. Yeah, and I think background screening is, is often looked at as a required step that slows down the hiring process, but it does not have to be that way. You're right, yeah. So here are some tips to ensure that the pre-employment screening process um, continues and, and keeps your hiring process you know, streamlined. So first off, um, branding. Make sure that your pre-employment screening partner um, is able to help you co-brand the communications that get sent out to the candidate. Because think about it from the candidate's experience, they're, hire, they're um, not hiring, they're applying for multiple positions. And so if they're getting emails saying, you know, a, a background check needs to get done, or even we're ready you know, to set up an interview for you, if they don't recognize who that's coming from, they might you know, completely miss it altogether or even just ignore that. So your branding ensures that your candidate knows that um, they're being requested to complete um, their background check, it's not spam. This is really crucial because otherwise uh, your candidates may call back and ask like, where, where are they at in the hiring process and not realize that you had already communicated to them for something uh, like a background check. Second, um, you can create some screening packages for your roles as well. So not only does that standardize your screening process and better ensures a you know, consistent screening um, process for your applicants, it's super useful for organizations and companies that have um, other people outside of the organization running checks as well. So with the screening packages, you can easily um, communicate to the hiring managers and they'll, um, they'll have the confidence knowing that the appropriate screens got ran on that person because you're specifying a specific package to a role. Um, so for example, if you're hiring for someone in the marketing department versus finance, they're gonna have different screens ran on them because of their job duties. And lastly, when we talk about streamlining communication, um, we wanna take into consideration where someone is. So our suggestion is to make it mobile friend friendly. I think texting is, is a very uh, common topic nowadays. And honestly, like texting has been probably the preferred method of communication for quite some time. Um, even just in our personal lives, a lot of people just you know text message rather than pick up the phone. Uh, so your candidates are on the go, especially hiring remotely as well. Um, meet them where they're at and, and make sure that you can communicate to them if they don't have um, a computer in front of them. This will just allow your hiring process to just maintain um, some smoothness and efficiency to it. Uh, Scott, do you have anything else to add about this? Yeah, these are great tips and, and best practices. And, and actually, we often hear about these as compliments from our clients uh, around the APS Hire and Verified First dynamic. Now, remember, screening can be looked at as a burden, but it really is a positive during the recruiting pro process. Think about your company culture. Think about um, your goals and values and mission. You don't want to start recruiting and training again 
if an individual is hired for a job and, and doesn't work out? And if not screened properly, what effect does that have on, uh, of course, your turnover rates, but really your company culture? When you screen Absolutely. properly, you provide consistency, you provide compliance, and then you protect that uh, very important company culture. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, Scott. I thought you were <laughs> I thought you were done. Great, great add-ons there. I appreciate that. So, um, just to kind of circle back on on technology from the the poll question that we had, it's a great way, um, or it's a great idea rather, to evaluate your tech stack and just see what the capabilities are. Um, and one of those, you know, things when you're looking at your tech stack is how can you automate any of your processes. Um, but it's usually the the recruiting and onboarding process is one of the top um, one of the top ways that people want to try and and automate everything because there's so many steps in that process. So, um, with the word automation, we often say integration. Um, and so all the way from your applicant tracking system to, to screening to assessments, um, the stat here says one in three companies use 10 or more different recruitment solutions. I, I wish I had another poll question to ask everybody else to see if that's true, because to me that seems crazy. I know I already have a lot of different tabs up for my job, so I can't imagine all the different systems that you guys are, are utilizing. So um really trying to trying to find ways to automate and integrate would probably be um a great way to to make your jobs a lot easier as well um, i'm going to pause here real quick before we jump into the actual um demo piece um and see if we do have any questions um it looks like i'm going to ask this one out loud let me scroll here so um, we have our applicants flowing from Indeed to APS Hire. It works fa fairly well. However, one of the limitations is that texting is not enabled when coming from Indeed. We've been told that there's no workaround for it. Are there plans to change this? That sounds more like a Scott question. I believe there are. Uh, we want to make sure that we allow an efficient way for candidates to opt into texting once they come in through Indeed. Um, so that's one thing that we're addressing on our roadmap, and I'll try to get an ETA on, on that enhancement. All right. Yeah, that is a great question, and we'll have that recorded as well, so um, the individual that asked um, can be followed up with. APS will reach back out to you guys. So, okay. Um, now let's move over to the demo piece again. If you guys have questions, feel free to do that. Um, uh, one thing I'm going to preference is a lot of times when people say the word integration, um, that means that there's going to, we need to get IT involved. It's gonna be time, it's gonna be money, it's gonna be just not an ideal situation. Um, when we say the word integration at Verified First, we are actually referring to what we call a web browser extension that integrates into our partners' platforms. And so it's very easy to get that set up. You don't have to get uh, IT involved and it's free for you guys to download and use. So I'm gonna show you right here. Um, this is an example if you guys are using Google Chrome, but you can also access this from uh, Microsoft Edge and, and the few other um, internet platforms out there. So if I go here and search for Verified First, you'll see um, our option here. Click on that, this button would say Add to Chrome. Um, I would then choose that button. It'll tell you it's downloading. Um, I've, I've removed this and added this um, to my own computer several times, and I don't think it's taken any more than 30 seconds to add it to my computer. So very quickly, um, you can add the extension. And then, um, it, then it's ready to go. As long as you obviously have an account with Verified First, um, then you can actually take advantage of the full integration. But to get yourself started, um, you can do that yourselves and it's very quick. So once you are in um, APS Hire and you're on, actually, let me go back here to a different candidate, um, and you're looking at your list of applicants, you should then see, again, this is after you download the extension, you should see this screen with verified first button. That's going to let you know the integration is there and ready to go. So if we're ready to place an order on um, Mr. Hank Mess, you can choose the place new order option here. And then this is our, our extension that um, will pop out. And so from here, like uh, what I touched on earlier about creating packages 
uh, based on the role. Uh, we give our, our clients the ability to create whatever packages they want, name them whatever they want, put whatever products um, and searches they need in there. That way it's just an easy like grab and go, choose from the drop down. I'm hiring for an executive, so this is the package I'm gonna choose on them. You can also see like what those searches are um, in case you did need to add like an a la carte option for this particular person, you could. Um, and then from there, the first part of the integration is pre-filling in the applicant's name, email address, and phone number. So if that information is in APS Hire, it's going to um, pre-fill that in for you. That way you guys aren't having to spend time doing manual data entry, um, even accidentally typing in the information incorrectly, and then that's obviously gonna cause an issue if you're not running it on the right person. Uh, and so once all of that information is filled in, the send invite option down here is going to help you streamline that communication because you can send an invitation link to the applicant to their email address. You can also send a link via text message as well. Our system will even tell you if it appears to be a phone number that can receive text messages. So they may have either given you the wrong phone number or if anybody still has landlines nowadays, might have given you a landline phone number. Um, and so you can go back to the applicant and say, you know, verify their phone number as well. And so um, after you have all that set up and you're ready to send over the invitation, as part of a, a way to also streamline communication internally amongst your teams, is you'll see that that button has now changed statuses. So if you have a team of individuals that are, are recruiting and hiring and, and multiple people need to order the background checks, um, you can see that someone from your team has already done it and you, know, you won't order um, a second background check on that person. And then from the candidate's experience, as far as communication goes, um, circling back to branding, it's not shown in here, but um, our system allows clients to put in their company logo so that way when they open this email they'll recognize oh i applied for a job for here they told me i should be expecting uh, an email to complete my background check so again there isn't any question um, from from the candidate of like should i click on this button and actually do this um, and then after uh, the applicant fills everything out, this button status does change again for the HR user. So again, you guys are communicated with from our system to let you know where they're at in the hiring process. And then um, I'll show you on a different example. You guys can also view the report from this extension as well. I think mm, it's not this guy. We have a lot of little test guys in here, so I gotta go to the right one. I wanna say it was this one. Yep, so then it'll say report complete. There is also email notifications that get sent as well, so you don't have to click through all the individuals, but it's nice to have it here in case you happen to be doing something else on their file. Um, and so again, when you click view report, that extension will come out and then you're able to actually view the results as well. So. We want to make it to where you guys don't have to leave APS Hire to be able to complete the background check portion of the entire hiring process. You can do that all within the extension here. Um, I'm going to pause here and see if there are any other questions. It doesn't. It doesn't look like we have any questions for that. Um, Scott, do you have anything else to add as far as the integration? Have you guys heard any, um, or I'm just curious, like feedback you guys have gotten from clients or if your team, when they're talking to prospects and, and touch on this a little bit, what some people are saying? Yeah, Stephanie, we hear consistently that the solution, the integration is logical. It's very easy to utilize as you've just shown and, and very customizable for our clients that have detailed screening requirements. Um, the whole purpose of today's uh, webinar is to talk about streamlining communication. What you've just shown is a very streamlined way to initiate the background screen, the order, and have the details flow back in where there's transparency internally and the necessary uh, interaction with the applicant. Yeah, definitely. That's great to hear. I'm glad that that it's a value to, to clients and is piquing some interest as well. Um, from, from your prospects. Um, we did have a question that just popped in. Is the extension included in current system or is this an additional cost? It is absolutely free. Um, it's free to download from 
uh, whatever web browser you're using and it, it's free to use. Um, so the extension itself and the, the integration of the platforms is free. Um, but I, since you did kind of talk about, you know, is there a cost? I'll quickly just mention um, there is a cost to actually run the searches. So we uh, charge per, per search um, and there's, there's pricing um, for each individual search and then we can lump all those into a package for you. Um, we don't have set pricing. We really want to try and take a customized approach with each client, learn what their needs are, what type of screens they're looking for, and then we'll provide pricing uh, based off of some of those discussions. But yeah, good question. The, uh, the extension does not cost anything to download or use. Um, another question, is there a way to restrict access to see the report? We typically don't allow hiring manager access to background screening results. Absolutely, we have, um, when we set up users, there's a lot of different um, user permissions. So we can um, have someone be able to order the background check, like just send it off to the applicant, but not be able to see the reports. Um, and we have some other uh, kind of, um, permissions as well permission settings that we can set up per user so short answer is yes and then you can kind of get a little bit more detailed that way too um oh thank you wendy wendy said she is a verified first user and is very satisfied so thank you for that her question is how can i tell if i have the text option for my applicants the text option is available for um, every candidate. So I'll go back here real quick and say, just place a new order on this person. Um, anytime you do the send invite option down here, oh, let me see, I didn't check something over here. Anytime you do the send invite option, you should always get this pop-up box to say, you know, to choose how you want the invite to be sent. Um, if you want their email and their phone, we can send a link both ways. Um, and whichever link the user or the applicant does not choose, um, it'll become dead. So like if I clicked the link on my phone, filled everything out, my background check started running, and then the next day I click the link on my email, they'll get like a little error or a message that says this link's no longer valid. And that's so a duplicate order doesn't get um, placed for that individual as well. So I hope that answers your question, Wendy. You should be able to send the text message um, for every background check that you place. But since you are a current client too, if you have additional questions, our client services team is more than happy to help you out. So, okay, yes. well, we are, oh, on, that. Real quick, um, I touched on the APS higher texting offering within our premium package. So if you, um, Wendy, if you're referring to outside of the, of the background screen process, if you look at your app, applicant list on the right-hand side of the screen, if you don't see a text option, that means you're not subscribed to the premium option and we can um, we can work with you on adding that functionality to APS Hire. Wonderful. I do see a few more questions that popped in. Um, someone's interested in adding uh, E-Verify and background check searches. Um, it looks like you might have reached out a couple of times to inquire about that. So Debbie, will all make sure that someone reaches out to you today to um, answer any questions about some additional services. Uh, and then great question, and we usually don't go over this because it could be like a whole separate webinar, honestly, um, but Deborah is asking about um, how are drug screens managed. So good news is you can order background checks, drug tests, and even I-9 and E-Verify all within this platform as well. Um, it really will just depend on when you get set up as a client, what types of services you need. And um, so whatever services you need is what will be listed available here for you. So if you did need to order a, back, or a, a drug test on somebody, you would just simply check that option or again, put it in a package. Um, and then the, the slight difference with that process is when the applicant is filling out all of their information, they will get taken to an additional page to plug in like their address and find a collection site closest to them. 
and then they'll get emailed what was often referred to as a passport so it's just a document they have to bring with them to the collection site so the collector knows what type of, of test they're doing um, but all the results will will show up the same way as well so if you order the background check and drug test at the same time it'll all show up on one report if for some reason you need those separated out then you would have to do um, two orders for that individual but as far as from your perspective your ordering process would would be the same whether it's a drug test or a background check so good question there and uh scott wendy says she does see a text option under the applicant name but she can't select it so we'll get you taken care of wendy and make sure that you can take advantage of that feature because that sounds like it'll be really helpful to you so um, any other questions that someone might have, and if we didn't get a chance to answer it, I apologize. I do make sure, I will make sure that we do get you a response, um, but I'm gonna hop back over here and just kind of round things out for a bit um, because we are running up on time. So um, just a little bit of a recap and some additional information for you guys here on the benefits um, of the Verified First solution. As I mentioned earlier, our integration is free. It is, takes you know, hardly any time to uh, download it and even you know, take advantage of it. We are really big on compliance here. So you know, going back to the user permission thing, that's a compliance thing. And so we, we take pride in being very compliance focused. Um, we are also PBSA accredited. Not all background screening companies are PBSA accredited. So if you are exploring um, background screening vendors, I would recommend that you check to see if they are. Um, with a really good alignment between APS payroll and verified first is our client satisfaction. Um, we average around a 98% client satisfaction rating. Um, and I know APS has a very high client satisfaction rating. So we both really want to um, help our clients as best as we can. And so that's another, um, another reason why we think that we partner very well together um, to give support to both of our clients. And as promised, here's some contact information if you guys would like to reach out. For those that have asked some questions where we either need to give you a follow-up answer or make sure that someone gets in touch with you, um, Scott and I will make sure that we handle those ones personally. But if anybody has any additional questions um, you know, later today or even after the webinar, um, here's how you can get in touch with us as well. There will be a um, post webinar survey that goes out and you should have the ability to add additional comments or ask a question as well in there. Um, so um, please keep an eye out for that. We definitely would, would love to hear your guys' feedback as well. And Scott, thank you again so much for joining us and, and providing some valuable information. It's always a pleasure doing these webinars with you. Yeah, thanks, Stephanie. I value this partnership. Um, Verified First offers a very quality service to our clients. And as you just mentioned, we both view the client experience with, through the same lens, prioritizing satisfaction um, and, and retention. So um, you'll see the sales at APSPayroll.com email address there. Um, as Stephanie's mentioned, Verified First integrates with our APS hire functionality, our applicant tracking and onboarding. If you're not leveraging that today and you'd like to, Feel free to reach out. Also, if you'd like to use the autopilot and texting functionality uh, with APS Hire, um, and you don't have that ability today, so Wendy, reach out uh, via that email address, and I'll make sure you're taken care of. Wonderful. And I will, uh, I don't want to leave uh, Gabriella hanging. She did pop in one last minute question I think we have time for. Uh, the question is, does the report download into the APS system? It does not. Um, that's not part of the, the integration functionality, but you should be able to easily um, download the report when you view it. And then if you wanted to attach it into the, the candidate or employee's profile, you can do that as well. So. Um, all right. Well, thank you again, everybody that attended. Um, we hope you took away some, some great tips and information today, and we look forward to seeing you at the next webinar. Thank you.